Cliff Kapsdorf from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I'm here with Team Cheap for All, and we're a bunch of friends who are engineers, and for fun we thought we'd build a crazy race car, kind of fulfilling some lifelong dreams of things you can't normally do. We uh, did a long search for cars, looked at a lot of different options, came pretty close to having a Porsche 944, but we found this 86 Corvette rollover that was in pretty wretched condition. I thought it would be a perfect candidate to build a $2,007 challenge out of. We uh, sold a lot of parts off, but basically ended up with a, a twisted car chassis and an engine for 400 bucks after we sold all the parts, we paid $1,400 for the car. Um, the reason we call ourselves Team Sheep or All is if people remember Jim Hall's famous cars in the 60s and 70s. Oh he was part of Team Chaparral, and one of the coolest things that, that he built, one of the most innovative things, was the Ch Chaparral TJ, which was the famous fan car that actually had powered fans that sucked the car to the ground. Well, well we always thought it would be cool to do that to a production-based car. So this is the TJ2. And it has a pretty unique feature sitting next in the passenger seat. It's a internal ventilation system, you could call it, but really it's not a seat, it's, it's a special fan and motor. So this is a snowmobile engine. That's, we bought a snowmobile off of eBay yeah. and it didn't run and we were lucky and got it running pretty easily. And this is an engine cooling fan off of an M1 yeah. tank that we bought as scrap. And we modified a belt drive to drive this thing. And this uh, creates about 12 inches of vacuum underneath the car which makes a little over a thousand pounds of downforce when this is running. And you can see the uh, skirt underneath the car basically glides along the, the, the ground and these casters, you know, keep the, you know, maintain a clearance so that the skirt doesn't scrape, you know, and in, uh, in imperfections in the pavement. And then there's an accordion here that, that, that seals it so we can maintain vacuum. So it really enhances the, the car roll, roll, rolling ability. As we thought about our options, you know, since, since the autocross time and drag time are added together, we thought our best opportunity was to try and, you know, take a lot of time off of our autocross time. You know, so far we've had some mechanical difficulties, but maybe if the rain stops, we'll get one more run in. Okay, other modifications? Another pretty radical modification we did this is a bone stock tune cord engine. And we looked at a lot of different options for waking that engine up. And we really wanted to go for the cheapest option that would also give us some horsepower in, in the drag or in the autocross too. So we actually did a homebrew twin turbo conversion on it. So we've got larger injectors out of a Thunderbird Super Coupe. And then right now what we can we uh, we can open the head. How much weight did the fan assembly and everything add? This is 160 pounds. The, so the fan and motor lift out together as a unit. It weighed 160. The skirt's about 40 pounds, so it's right at 200. So this is a pretty light Corvette when it comes out. We got 400 pounds off of it, so it'll be 2,800 pounds tomorrow. What's the total weight of the car? It's 3,000 pounds. So, so anyway, we've got a stock tune Ford engine. And we wanted to wake it up, so we added two very small turbos to it that spool up quickly and give us good throttle response. This is a, a Garrett T25 off of a second gen Equal Talon. Off of this, what? Off of an Equal Talon. The, this turbo used to be a, off of an 89 Ford Pro, but it blew up two weeks ago. So we had to quickly modify everything to get another another uh, another T25 in here. So now we actually have twins. And, uh, yeah, so both these are all the talons. These are the small turbos that people like, you know, put away and when they put something larger on. We had to modify. We're running like four to six psi right now. It's a bone stock tune for it with cast pistons, and we had to modify the wastegates to run that low psi because those are set up for like 14 psi. And, we, put, we just ended up putting smaller springs in there and making it all adjustable. It, it could use some more development, but it, it works. You can't argue with the results. And this is all uh, just kind of, we, we flipped the exhaust manifolds upside down and then made adapter plates and then custom exhaust us out of conduit. 
And actually, we had a different hose on here as of yesterday. We tried to paint it to make it look nice, and it melted. So this is different hose, and this hose is having issues. It's starting to starting to actually like melt in the engine needs. So that's a big improvement opportunity, but we're going to try and roll with it. What's the I don't think so. Yeah, we, we kind of wanted to mount an intercooler on the fan, but we we didn't we didn't get that. It was pretty fun. It was kind of challenging to build, but you know, kind of always wanted to see a soccer car and a street car. Yeah, we've actually had this out on the road, and <laughs> it, it, you can really feel the difference. I mean, I'm no race car driver, but you know, this thing you can get it sideways, but with this run, and it's a lot more challenging to do that. Do you have any like back-to-back -back time with and without the soccer? Yeah, we uh we we did a little. Well, well, you actually have one here because the sucker yeah. quit on our on our fourth run, so we okay. lost like over well, two seconds, maybe three really? seconds. It's worth a lot. Wow. Yeah, we were hoping for a longer course because it's worth about ten percent usually. Yeah.